Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Right, as you can tell by the t-shirt, I've got another beer from the Wonson Brewery. They very kindly sent me this t-shirt. Um, I got back from Madeira a day, uh, last Saturday, and this come through the post. And I thought, what's that? You know, um, and this, I was like, brilliant. Thanks very much, guys, for sending me this. Right, so to go over the t-shirt, obviously it's a Wonson beer. This is their Hengist. It's a golden pale ale coming in at 5% ABV. Um, I've seen online that it goes up to a 5.1, whether that's another edition or another year or whatever. It's won a few awards there, as you can see. In 2010-2011. Uh, best before January 2016. Uh, so yeah, it's a bitter, English bitter really. Silver bottle cap. Get this beer out there and see what this one brings. It's going to bring quite a bit. That's not too bad. Bit of carbonation there. Saved it. And let that calm down. Look at that madness in a glass. I've had this beer. When did I buy this? Uh, must have been maybe July, maybe I think July, end of July, something like that. Um, very carbonated, look at that, you can see it coming through there. Like a, a, an upside down blizzard. Well, that's going to take a while to uh, sort itself out. Um, so yeah, this is uh, a full bodied golden ale, golden pale ale. Um, I won't go into just in the notes there but I won't go into that until after. Um, they're out of Hurston which is just east of Canterbury and then there's the brewery www.wantsonbrewery.co.uk I've had this bef before in bottle quite a while ago obviously before reviewing and um, I've had it on I've had it on keg as well and it's been pretty good. Right this has dropped down a two fingers worth, but it's still very carbonated. I'll try and get an aroma. It's quite fruity, kind of. Almost smelling slightly, at this stage anyway, yeah. Excuse me. It's got like a... That fruitiness that you get sometimes in a Belgian sort of beer. That fruity kind of yeasty aroma. Anyway, let's try and see if this works. Got to be battling through this, I think. Actually, that didn't. That wasn't too bad. So very carbonated beer. It's gonna have to wait. Um, contains malted barley. I'm a big fan of this brewery, along with obviously my local brewery. Um, yeah, it's bottle conditions. A bit of yeast, sediment, pour beer carefully, blah de blah de blah. It was carefully, but it's very carbonated, but it's like an orangey tangerine colour, bit sort of hazy, um, bit of hop haze, I'd guess. Anyway, let's get an aroma. Yeah, as I said, fruity. That Belgian yeast quality coming through. Anyway, let's give it a try. Cheers. Quite bready, very smooth mouthfeel, really nice, pleasant. Um, don't know if there's whether they're using caramel in this, possibly, don't know. I haven't really done much research on this. It's a little bit biscuity, bready, 
at the front end and then it goes into like kind of a there's a, a fruit note hedgerow fruits sort of middle to back end mm. really pleasant nice leaving a nice sort of coating on the uh, palette not a coat on the palette yeah that's that's raging carbonation you just about see it through the haze you know the whole four fingers of head that's the only letdown slight letdown so far but taste wise it's really quite top notch I'd imagine it's probably been in the bottle a fair while. Um, we're in October, so October, just October. Uh, October, so November, December. It's, it's getting probably near the end of its shelf life. I mean, I got this in July, so I don't know how old it was then. Um, but I'd imagine it's been laying around somewhere that's been a bit kind of room temperature for a while. And... Uh, the yeast has gone overload. Um, I'd guess. I'm not sure about that, but I mean, I've had it in the fridge, so it's been in the fridge quite a while. And and this is so somewhere along the line, it's it's gone into somewhere fairly mild, and the yeast has worked its worked its magic for a while, fair you know, a good while, and um, this is what's happened happens sometimes it's going down fairly quickly now it's starting to break up into bigger bubbles as you can see there so mm. really nice really pleasant let's attempt to get the rest of this in I got this in the bottleneck in Broadstairs, by the way. So uh, it's a fantastic little bottle shop that it, it sells a lot of Wonsons beers, Ramsgate Brewery beers, and also um, what's the other name of the brewery? Old Dairy. They sell quite a few of them breweries, them free breweries beers that. There's not many. Pla there is probably places you can get them apart from obviously going to the breweries, but um, old dairies are pretty hard to come by uh, locally. I think that's the only place that I know of where you can get certainly their beers and um, and want some, this beer, want some beers. Um, so it's not too far. I can go out there and get them. Um, they don't. I love this brewery so much along with the Ramsgate Brewery and Old Dairy. Um, apart from the Ramsgate Brewery, which is obviously I can get their even their seasonal brews that don't they don't do in bottles, which is a fair few. Um, as with the other two breweries, this brewery, the Watson Brewery and Old Dairy, I can't hardly get their um, their seasonal brews. Um, they don't bottle them, which is a bit of a shame. Um, and a lot of pubs locally it's very hit and miss whether you get their seasonal brews or not um, I've seen them advertise further sort of west sort of central Canterbury going back their way but um, it's, they're pretty hard to come by sort of in Kent this part of Kent anyway in Fanny but you know there's a lot of choice out there so but no, I can't recommend this brewery hardly enough. What's that, Hengist? If I find out whether, I think you might be able to buy these online. Um, I'll have a hunt around and I'll put some information down below. Um, so yeah, as for a rating then, I don't know if I've given a rating. I've been waffling too much.
really nice. That's an 8 out of 10 from me. 8 out of 10, very kind of nice English style bitter. Um, with, you know, it's kind of a, a, a full bodied, balanced. It's not it's not too sweet or bitter either way. It's very smooth, nice mouthfeel bitter. It's quite it's quite thick as well um, for a bitter. It's quite a lot of yeast in that, as you can tell. It's very you can't see anything through there. There you go. It's my hand, so it's not my crappy camera I'm using. It is actually. Quite a lot. It's almost orangey there in the light. I don't know if you're picking that up. Like a dark orange. That head's gone right down now. Look at that, leaving some nice, proper, foamy lacing on there. Really good. It reminds me a little bit. I mean, I don't know what hops they're using. It reminds me of a kernel beer. The Colonel Brewery's beer in London, it's that kind of thing. But I, I would imagine a lot more sort of traditional English hops, you know, involved in that. But it's got that kind of texture and mouthfeel. Really nice. So, yeah, if you've had this beer before, it's the Hingist Golden Pale Out 5% from the Watson Brewery. Put your comments down in the comments box. Please subscribe and cheers.